Hey gang, it's Brian from FX Billiards. Today we're going to look at some more break patterns for you. Uh, this first one is going to be a situation where we're just looking at two balls, but when we look at where the rack is going to be, our position on this two ball is going to be a little difficult. So what we're going to do is draw this back and come off the long rail and then the short rail with a bunch of right hand English. So that's a draw shot with right hand English so that we have this nice break angle on the two ball. And as you can see, we have a pretty long shot here, which is kind of the theme of this video. We're going to show you how to handle some of these longer shots. And I'm going to take an aggressive approach, but you guys can always take a more conservative approach. So here you can see I have to shoot the length of the table. We're on a nine foot table with four and a half inch pockets. So on some of these shots, you have to measure the risk versus return as to whether or not you're going to take these shots. But you can see, given the spread we got here, the upside is tremendous. The key with those longer break shots really is to focus on making the shot. Try to take out of your mind what is going to happen after the shot. If you're thinking about the balls in the rack when you take the shot, you're gonna have a difficult time. You need to shoot it as if it's the only ball on the table. So don't get distracted by the rack. On this shot, we really don't have any choice here but to end up behind the rack with the three ball as our break ball. But what I want you to notice from this is the position that I played on this two. If we got on the wrong side of that two ball, this position would have been impossible. So don't take these shots for granted. Just because a ball like that two is sitting in the pocket does not mean you can play it from anywhere on the table. You can't. You have to get position on those shots even though the ball is sitting in the pocket because in straight pool, inches matter more than anywhere else. So make sure you take the time to play good position on this shot. Any of these stops along the way here, and I'm in the wrong position. We got to the one spot where that shot became perfect. Anything before that, and we're out of line for the three ball. By getting to this spot where we did, we're able to get a nice angle on the three. And I want you to notice how much right hand English I put on this shot. The ball is going to come off the rack and it's going to come off the rail. And because of the right hand spin, we're going to get on the other side of the rack. Even though there may be balls under the rack, you want to work the outside of the rack whenever possible. You're going to get to those other balls, but don't get greedy and hope to take those balls that are under the rack uh, because there should be fewer of them. The majority of your work is going to be on the other side of the rack so try to get your cue ball there when possible here i wanted to show you this run because i had already decided the 15 was my break ball obviously and the five was going to be my key ball any of those balls down the other end would have put me on the five in the side as my key but as you can see i managed to not get to right position So now I need to play some recovery and get myself positioned on the 15. Had I gotten back down table earlier, which would have been the shot from the four ball, I could have gotten better position on these balls and left myself the five as a key ball, which would have given me a break shot that was about, I don't know, two feet, maybe three feet closer to the ball. But as a result, I had to play that little drag shot there, which puts me a bit further than I wanted to be on a break shot. We'll see how it goes after the rack, but it's very important. Your pattern is not just so that you have a break shot, but you have the break shot that you actually want. It's very easy, guys. When you play and, and you've got the experience, it's not very difficult to find a break shot, but you want to find a good break shot and as you can see that was not the ideal break shot for us if i got a better angle on the 15 a back cut maybe i could have done a lot more damage to this rack here 
I'm just going to work my way into the rack. I mean, this is what you do in straight pool. You're not always going to spread the balls out. I'm just showing here how I'm chipping away at those clusters and just making things happen, creating some break shots where there aren't any and breaking up clusters where there are clusters so that we can work our way into the rack and make something good out of it. So just a quick review of some of the shots we covered today. Keep in mind, when you have these long break shots, make a decision. Is it worth going after? In many cases it is. If you're gonna break up the rack like that, go ahead and knock it out. But keep in mind that you have to make that break shot if you're going to spread them out like this or your opponent is going to have a good time instead of you. I have a bonus shot for you guys. This is a shot that came up during a practice session. And of course, I always have the camera running. So I wanted to share it with you guys. And it is the spirit breaker of the week. So let's take a look. So I got a decent break shot on the 14 ball, but it was a little high in the rack. I ended up hitting the rack a little high, might have had some draw on the shot even. Uh, so as a result, I don't break up the balls nearly as much as I could have. And when I see these racks that look like this, I assume there is a shot in there, but you can see that was a swing and a miss trying to break up the cluster a little bit. But after examining this rack for what probably seems to you guys is a very long time, I find a shot and this is the spirit breaker of the week. I am going to call the two ball in the side pocket here. I am using the corner five diamond system here to hit this seven ball solid. I teach this kick system is one of five that I teach in the NWQ pool program and it goes off beautifully you can look at my face i'm pretty excited about that shot calling the two in the side i'm pretty sure i would shoot it in a match making this shot is going to make all kinds of good things happen including sending a message to your competition that they may be outclassed so that's the shot of the week guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you learned anything from it and you're not a subscriber Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Hit me in the comments. Let me know what your status is for straight pool. If you've played in the past, if you're going to play in the future, because I'm telling you, it looks like this game is making a comeback, giving you guys some straight pool videos a couple of times a month. So have a great day. Thanks for watching.